All right, so this week in Ireland finally makes its long-awaited return. Now, my friends, as you can just see by the first two seconds, this week in Ireland as the series is finally back every single Tuesday at 6:45 p.m. So do me a favor, tell your buddy, your sister, your dad, your nanny, your granddad, your next door neighbor, tell anybody that used to watch these videos that you can come to this channel every single Tuesday at 6:45 and expect to see a brand new this week in Ireland. Now, I've got a couple of things I want to talk about throughout this video. Video and I understand that the coronavirus is running rampant still, although it is starting to slow down, but it's still crippling the nation. But I wanted to talk about the return of the mad cow to Ireland and not the mad cow disease. I'm talking about the Irish Katie Hopkins. But before I get into that, I want to talk about the Leaving Set. I want to talk about Leo Varadkar putting Mary Lou McDonald in her little box. I wanted to show you some historical Irish buildings that got burned to the ground. And I want to touch on the roadmap back to normal life because. We can all smell the freshly cooked grass on football pitches, we can smell the points, we can smell the swimming pools and we can even smell the cinema popcorn just a couple of months away. And again, that was a very long intro, so now, without further ado, let's get into the first story. Coronavirus in Ireland, leaving state exams expected to be cancelled with students given predicted grades instead. How in the melons will this ever go well? If your teacher does not like you, you are going to get bad grades. Simple as how in the melons again is this gonna turn out well? Genuinely, if a teacher doesn't like you, you're snookered. Although there is an option that if you're not happy with the marks that are given to you, which again blows my mind, you're giving marks on a test that you haven't said based on whether your teacher likes you or not, but again, if you don't like the marks, you can go and reset the test, reset, reset the test at a later time. Not gonna lie to you, if I was still in school and I was sitting my leaving seat, this wouldn't bother me in the slightest. I didn't need my leaving seat, and I still don't need my leaving seat, and a lot of people won't, but for people that wanna be doctors and shit like that, and need high marks, and maybe the teacher didn't like them for whatever reason, I thought, mm, this person annoyed me one of the days, and I marked them down a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna be a pain in the ass for those people. If anyone has watched Watching this and they're in sixth year, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And for some reason, the comment section has moved if you're watching on the phone, so it's a little bit harder to find it, but still, leave me your thoughts on this, even if you're not doing your leaving seat, let me know what you think about this. Is this a good solution, or should they just cancel the exams completely? I think they could go ahead with the exams in like August, and just have like, I don't know, if the weather is nice, have the exams out in the field, have a hundred people sitting in the field, all distance apart, and they should be perfectly fine. But again, let me know down in the comments, as you all will know, I really reply to every single person. Pop down below into the comments. Let's have a conversation. Dramatic images capture moment historic Mayo building gutted by fire as horse munches grass just feet away. The only reason I wanted to show you these houses on fire, these historic huge mansions on fire is because for me, I think there is beauty in destruction and there is the image there. I think, I, I don't know whether, I, like am I just mad in the head that I absolutely love fire? Like I think that looks class. So while I'm showing sure Showing you the Bridgemont House in Mayo, I want to show you a place close to the home. It's called Belcamp College, and the person that designed the college designed the White House over in Washington. And that is your fun fact of today. But anyways, do the day some absolute scaldy lit the place on fire. Don't worry, it's been abandoned for years. There was nobody injured. Also, there was no one injured in the one in Mayo either. But a reporter on the ground recorded this video, which I'm going to play for you. My apologies for the quality. I don't know what sort of phone he's got. Thank you to my little reporter on the ground for sending me that video and if anyone else wants to send me stuff that you think should be included in next week's video, feel free to send it to me on Instagram, just type in Adam Redmond and you'll find it very, very easy. Alright, moving on to Mr. Leo Varadkar going toe to toe with Mary Lou McDonald in the doll. Um, some of you may not be interested in what I'm about to show you, I'm just going to play a clip, it's about a minute long if you want to skip this and go to the next story, go to this time, right here down at the bottom and yeah, I'm going to just play it, he absolutely puts her in a place, he tried to give him a bit of grief saying that he wasn't doing things right and yeah he just, he just went on and he just went on a little rant and roaster i'm gonna play the clip right now um, i am sorry though that deputy mcdonald chose to become so party political in her contributions because what she said was so two-faced and so fundamentally dishonest my party finnegal never cut the minimum wage working with labor and then with independence we increased it by 25 percent to one of the highest in the world what is the minimum wage in northern ireland where Sinn fein is in power in this jurisdiction, a government led by my party introduced a pandemic unemployment payment of €350 Euros a week so the people who lost their jobs had some financial security. What happened in Northern Ireland, where Sinn Féin is in office? £100 pounds a week. 
nothing for the self-employed until June. And Sinn Féin ministers on their Facebook site promote the fact that they hand out food parcels to the poor. Rem reminiscent to me of Donald Trump handing out toilet roll after the hurricane hit the islands in the Caribbean. Sinn Féin's leader here in this house, Deputy MacDonald, is an opposition party leader. That's fair enough. And she can criticise what we do, say it's not enough. She can do that every day. But she can't hide the fact that she's also leader of an All-Ireland Party, a party that's in power in Northern Ireland, where the minimum wage is lower than here, where you don't give people £350 uh, a week. You hand out food parcels and boast about it on Facebook. I'd be ashamed to do something like that. I was up, Tisha. Thank and you. And don't blame it on the Tories. And don't blame it on London. If it wasn't for their money, it'd be even worse. Get back in your little box. Maybe Leo. Leo Varadkar loves a good rant. And when he does it, he does it with such precision. I don't know, but I have a feeling a lot of people have missed that clip. Which is why I wanted to include a little bit of it. Now moving on away from politics or maybe into more politics. I wanted to show you the Irish Katie Hopkins and her hairy friend. A lot of people will know quite well that they have been running riot around Ireland. Pretty much protesting about absolutely everything they can for the last couple of years. Years, but especially in the lockdown they are doubling down on being an absolute nuisance and a menace to society and every single guardian in Ireland. Now I'm only speaking on this because I know it wasn't this week in Ireland technically well kind of every day they're wankers but a lot of people ask me if I'm coming back and making a video with this week in Ireland I have to touch on these two Egypts. So anyways you might recognize the thumbnail of that video and um, it went viral, I think it's got 50,000 views on YouTube, a couple of hundred thousand on Facebook or whatever, but this nuisance pulls up to a checkpoint and pretty much, uh, she just does what she does best and that is enrage people that are watching and just bully people, like she she is a bully, she's a gobshoy and she is a proper numpty, like Gemma O'Doherty, I know you're watching this because I know someone, like I know one of your little cronies have just sent it to you because any time I've done this before and I've mentioned it, I've got a lot of hate comments, I've got a lot of abuse, I've got this and this, I've got lots of DMs, I know you're watching and um, from the bottom of my heart I think you have mental problems and I think you need to be locked up for the safety of all of the public. And for your mate John Wars I know that you're a little bit more sane than Gemma is. Probably shouldn't have slagged you to look like that chap but this is what John Wars actually looks like and that's Gemma's words not mine I didn't say look at the state yeah, that was her but again like what the fuck is wrong with you? These are complaining that the restrictions in Ireland are illegal. Who gives a bollocks they are there to save lives, with the both of you being what, over 50, 60, whatever the fuck ages are, you are the two high risk people here. You should be wanting these lockdown restrictions to be in place, because if anyone gets the coronavirus, and if you's get it, you's are more than likely gone, yeah, of course, to the delight of everyone else in Ireland. But for yourselves, you just not want to live for it, you just want to get the coronavirus, and pass away, and again, as I said, to the delight of everybody in Ireland, but for yourselves, come on. Look after yourselves. Now from that video, I just want to play like one or two things. I'm going to chop it up and I'm going to play them. And like it's just nobody in this world fills me with rage as much as Gemma O'Doherty. And I'm telling you, as soon as I can find the correct beat, I'm going to drop the best diss track that anyone has ever seen in Ireland on Gemma O'Doherty, John Waters and a group of crazy Lulas that like religiously follow them around. Like, uh, did you ever see Batman? I think it's the Dark Knight when all the crazies get out of like the Arkham Asylum or whatever and they run riot throughout the sea. That's exactly what this is like. There are a bunch of Lulas. That is all. They're mad in the head and they piss everybody off. They're, they're like... The Royland's biggest numpties. You will be reminded who is in charge and who are your masters. You will be reminded of that very soon. We are your masters! Do you know how fucking annoying it is when she says shit like that? Does this woman in general, like I pity the guards, I don't usually feel bad for the guards, but like when this woman, I'd say when they see her coming, they're like, oh no, I'm not ready for this today. Like she, she's so fucking annoying. She's the bit like she's a quality troll, fair play, you get the attention you want, but you're so irritating. We are your masters. The way she says shit, I can't, like, I can't talk about her. She's just so annoying and I know quite well her little cronies are down below in this video leaving comments or either texting me on Instagram, threatening me or threatening me on Twitter the way you usually do when I speak about your master. Oh, you are all head melters. You actually are. You are fucking. You are just nuts. You can't. I can't put it into words. You can probably tell. I'm lost the words where she's just so annoying. How dare you? What's your name? Get her number. You're streaming to thousands of people. Like, shut up. Nobody gives a flying fuck what you have to say. Literally nobody will bar your 15 devoted followers. Like, oh. 
this video gets 1,000 likes in the first 24 hours. I will make that this track and jam out Doherty and our cronies as soon as I possibly can. Now let's fucking forget about the Lulas and the biggest numpties that Ireland has ever seen for a quick second and just say, Leo Varadkar brought out a roadmap back to normal life throughout Ireland and then um, it's beautiful to see. Before we didn't know what was going on. The lockdown's extended by two weeks, extended by another two weeks, another two weeks after that, or whatever. I think we're, I think we might be eight weeks or something, or seven weeks, something like that. But now the roadmap is out, and 10th of August is the date set for the return of pubs. It could be earlier, could be later, but that's the rough estimate of when pubs are going to be back. And it's fantastic. Football is going to be back at the early August, end of July. Like, I mean, football not to watch. Football for me to play, go and train, go and tackle some people. Life. It's gonna be back very soon, so all I'm gonna say is stay the course, stay at home, wash your hands, stay vigilant, do not get complacent. We are so, so close to being in a fantastic situation of life returning to normal, and I beg every single one of you watching to please continue doing your bit so that all of us can go back to normal life. I understand that group of 20, 30, 40, whatever it is, are ignoring the regulations, they're running around thinking they own the country, thinking that they are the masters of the world. Leave them gobshites to do whatever they want. Do not join them. Leave them to do it. Bit of luck, they get it and they all pass away. I know it's cruel to say, but it's my honest opinion. You can't give out to me for giving me opinion. But yeah, continue to do your bit. Don't get complacent. Wash your hands. Save your nanny. Save your neighbours. And yeah, we're all going to be back to normal within a couple of months. Thanks very much for watching. It's the end of the video. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications because nobody is seeing what I'm posting anymore. And do me a favour. Come back to this channel next week, next Tuesday, precisely at 6.45pm for a brand new video. If there's any stories you want seeing it feel free to send me a message over on instagram thanks for watching see you later goodbye oh that's wrong thanks for watching see you later goodbye